Wouldn't it be great if you wanted to teach networking and you just built a network? Drag yourself up a router, grab yourself a PC, I don't know, maybe another PC, a laptop, and let's just check in for good measure a smart device and a wireless tablet. And hey presto, there you go, we have our network. We can see that the tablet and the smartphone connected to the wireless device already, but the laptop didn't. Quick look at it, side view, we can see here it's got an Ethernet card in, so switch the power off, throw the Ethernet card away, put in the wireless card, don't forget to switch the laptop back on, and hey presto, our laptop has now connected. So the PCs haven't connected, quick look at those, click on the PC, scroll down, you can see here it's got an Ethernet port on, if we look on the router, it's got some Ethernet ports there as well. What we clearly need to do is get our cable, get our straight through cable, little RJ45 onto the end, plug it into the Ethernet port on the PC and onto the router, and then get another one and do the same for the other PC. And hey presto, we've built ourselves a wired and wireless network. Okay, so having built your home network, I wonder how it's connected. Well, out through a DSL modem, down through the DSLAM and out to the ISP. And of course, you're not the only person connected to the ISP, but here you go, we've got Anne's house as well connected to the ISP, and the ISP connects out to the internet. What's really of interest now is what's in the ISP. Well, we can have a look in the ISP and look at the services it provides, and we can have a look in the internet, and we can see what types of services it provides. And having got our network now, it'd be great if it worked, well, here's a web server in the internet at bcu.ac.uk. Let's see if it works. Let's go into our laptop and open up the web browser, type in the URL, and hey presto, we get a web page. And if you want to see this in simulation mode, click simulation mode down here, go back to the web page and we can hit go. And what we can do now is to start to run the simulation. And you can see the packet formed up here. We can play that simulation speed it up a bit and you'll see the packet bit by bit whizzing through our network heading towards the bcu.ac.uk server on 193.60.133.109 and as you'd expect when the IP packet gets there the web server replies with a web page and heads its way back to the requesting PC. What we can do at any point is we can look at these packets here and we can look at the layer 2 MAC addresses, layer 3 IP addresses, layer 4 TCP port numbers and we can actually see what the HTT protocol is. And if that's not enough with you we can move from the logical view to the physical view and here's our home city main town and where the internet is. We can go look at the internet and their rack mounted servers. We can come into the home city and in the home city we can see the two houses with their wireless footprints. We can go into Anne's house and look at where the devices are laid out. Go into her wiring closet and see all the devices laid out on the table. 